Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. So I thought I would just do one more St. Patrick's Day Manny because I wanted to use my Beauty Big Bang, my new stamping plate from Beauty Big Bang. And here it is. And then I'm also going to be using one of my new, my new um, brushes, my nail art brushes from Beauty Big Bang. So let's get started. I'll be using Wave Gel, gel polish today. And I'm going to use Green Tea Smoothie from the matching collection from Wave Gel. Wave Gel's matching collections come with one regular polish and one gel polish. After applying the base coat and curing it for 30 seconds, then you can start adding the color coats. And you wanna add each coat thinly and cure it for 30 seconds. You want to make sure anything you get on the skin is removed before you cure. So I'm just going to be adding this color to all of my fingernails. And then I'll cure it and we'll come back for the second coat. Now I'm going to add the second coat. That wasn't too thin. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to do this to all of the nails and then cure it for 30 seconds. Okay, so all the nails have been cured. Now there is a tacky layer on the gel polish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it by using this red carpet purify and a lint-free wipe. I'm just going to wipe the tacky layer right off. And that does give it like a little bit of a dull finish, but that's okay. If you weren't going to stamp on every single nail, what I recommend is leaving the tacky layer on and then just top coating those right away. But I am going to stamp on every single nail today, which I normally don't, but I'm going to do that today and I will need them all free of tacky residue so it doesn't get on my stamper head and potentially ruin that. First, I'm going to add my Beauty Big Bang Lake Tex around the outside of my fingernails um, to protect them from polish. I almost always forget this step, so I'm really excited that I actually remembered. So this is new. I haven't ever used um, the Beauty Big Bang one before. I usually use um, just like liquid body latex. This seems a little on the watery side. Ew, it kind of smells, but that's okay. I'm trying to get it on a little bit thick so that it comes off pretty easy. Oh, it's starting to... And so I'm going to put this on around my middle finger, pinky, and thumb. For the first stamping polish, I'm going to use Hit the Bottle, See What I Green. And I'm going to use this image right here. If you haven't ever stamped before, all you do is put the polish on the plate and give it a little scrape and then pick it up with the stamper head and that turned out pretty good so then i'm just gonna go ahead and stamp this on my nails well that came out really nice i'm also using the same image on my pinky For my pointer finger, I'm only going to use a few of these, so I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to remove all of the image that I don't want.
Okay, and to make this a decal, I'm going to take a Maniology's Smudge Free Top Coat. And I'm just going to brush a little bit of this over close to the image so I don't have like a bunch of extra stuff hanging out. Okay, I'm just going to set that aside and let it dry. While that's drying, I'm going to remove the liquid latex. And I did forget that this one does dry clear. So actually, that's why I got this particular one. So I'm really liking that. So when it's clear, you know it's dry and you can begin your stamping. Well, it removes very nicely. And if there's anything that still needs a touch of cleanup, I use a cleanup pen dipped in acetone. So I'm just going to do that to all of my nails and come back. The next thing I'm going to use is Brave's Diva Polish, and it is Shut Out, which is her white stamping polish. And I'm going to pick up these images right here. And my bling stamper here. Let's get rid of that. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to make this into a decal and color it in. Okay, so it has a as as for a review of that stamping plate, it picks up the images are really nice. It's a nice, nicely etched stamping plate. Very easy to use. So I have these guys here. Got you in nice and close so you can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that smudge free top coat over the top. And what this does, it helps protect the stamping from when you're coloring on it because you can act actually mess up the image while you're coloring it in. So you want to wait for like couple seconds for the stamped image to dry really good and then you put over smudge free actually I didn't wait that long but it still doesn't smudge because it's smudge free so I'm going to set this to side for it to dry this one over here is already dry so I am going to put these let's see I kind of want to do a corner little thing here. Okay, so now it's not coming off and sticking to my nail because my nail is not sticky or tacky. If I had regular nail polish, I could just apply a, I don't know, oh, I could apply a tacky base coat, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to put a top coat of gel on. So I just kind of peeled up, oops, I just kind of peeled up the image and I'm going to see if that will help it come free from the stamp. Can't remember how I had it. Oh, here, like this. Okay, so that didn't work, so I'm just going to peel it off. And then I'm just going to take, I have a silicone tool, I can just grab it, and then I can just lay it where I want on the nail. And then I can push it down, and that little bit that came off is just fine. Looks like the silicone tool is getting off the edge a little bit, so that's good. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my cleanup pen and I am just going to remove the excess with that. 
a little acetone, a little cleanup pen, and we're good. Oops. There we go. Okay, so these are nice and dry, and I'm going to use my fine dotting tool. And I am just going to color in the image. Did I say dotting tool? My fine, my new fine brush, which I really like. I'm so happy to get some of these really fine brushes. Makes it so much easier to color in these images. And when you flip it over, it looks great. All right, so we'll just wait for this to dry for a couple minutes. And what I do to clean my brushes is I'm very careful. I clean them with some acetone, and then I wash them with some soap and water just to clean off the acetone on there. And then I save this little protective sleeve, and I pop it back in there. Okay, this looks dry enough, so we should be able to pop it right on my finger. And there we go. Stuck on there perfectly. And I'm just going to clean up the edge with my corrector pen dipped in acetone. I'm going to take a shiny no clean top coat and I am just going to cover all of my nails and cure it for one minute. And here is the finished Manny. I hope you like how it turned out. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.